computer of motion has to do with how employees themselves move during a process. This type of waste is often relevant to people-powered processes in manufacturing, warehousing, shipping, delivery, or industrial fields, but waste of motion can even crop up in processes that are computerized. For example, if a data entry employee has to click back and forth between screens when entering information, this could be muda of motion. If the system is designed so that a number is to be entered in one window and the second number entered in a different window, the click between windows is wasting motion. Moving to another window involves a mouse or keyboard action that could be eliminated if the data were entered on the same window. It seems like an inconsequential detail, but imagine what happens when the data employee completes this process hundreds or thousands of times a day. The waste can absolutely add up. If each data entry employee completes 600 entries an hour on average, and there are 10 employees on a team, the team is completing 48,000 entries each day. If it takes only half a second more to toggle between the two windows, the team is still spending a collective 400 minutes a day, that is just over 6.5 hours, toggling. If the average hourly wage for a day to worker is $10, the team is spending an extra $325 each week, that is almost $17,000 each year just to cover the act of toggling between windows. Given those numbers, a programming change that includes both data elements on the same window could save the company $17,000 in a single year. This same concept can be applied to any form of MUDA when you can apply a time and dollar figure to the waste. Other examples of MUDA of motion include a task that requires an individual to physically move back and forth between work, extra motion that stems from a poor layout of work, or movement that occurs when an employee leaves an area and has to return one or more times because he or she forgot something. Public libraries have long employed a simple tool to avoid muda of motion in the reshelving process. Books are first ordered on a cart. The cart allows an employee to carry many books without moving back and forth, and placing the books in order on the cart lets the individual move through the stacks once. If books are placed at random on the cart, the subsequent movement between shelves wastes motion and time. Streamlining company processes eliminates muda of motion, and data must be collected and analyzed to identify unnecessary movement. A common tool used in manufacturing and similar environments to track movement is known as a spaghetti diagram. Begin with a basic, bird's eye drawing of the workspace. Include furniture computer stations, machinery, doors, and walls. Observe an actual process, tracking any and all movements with a line on the diagram. When drawn correctly, the diagram looks like a string of spaghetti fell onto your page. Once the process is complete, you can look at the diagram to see where the movements cross paths multiple times or go out of the way unnecessarily. This helps you find opportunities for streamlining the movement in a process. Sometimes, it's as simple as moving furniture or resources around to reduce unnecessary movement. It's worth noting that a spaghetti diagram only reveals a snapshot of movement in time. Sometimes, it is worthwhile to complete more than one such diagram at different times of day or with different employees to reveal an overall picture of a process and possible muda.